Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys know, I love living here in Turkey. I made so many videos on my channel um, about why I moved here and why I love living here. Um, but in today's video, I will be talking about a few things that I didn't know about Turkey or that are maybe a little bit more hard. No country in the world is perfect and um, yes, there's just a few things about Turkey that I didn't know. And I don't want to be negative about things. I mean, if you look on my channel, you know I love living here. So please don't take this video as a insult. Yeah, that's what I will be talking about in this video. If you're new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey for about um, five and a half years. And uh, if you like to see more Turkey content, beauty related videos, fashion, please subscribe to my channel and uh, let's get started. So the first thing that is quite hard uh, for the Turkish people here is the inflation, the high inflation if I pronounce that right. Um, right now while I'm filming this, one euro is about 10 liras. So that means that a lot of things here in Turkey are really expensive. Expensive for the people who live here. So if you're a tourist, Turkey is quite cheap actually. And it's a really good country to visit because you can eat and drink and buy a lot of clothes for a really nice price. Um, but yes, if you live here and you get a Turkish salary, like a normal job, things are quite expensive here. So things that are quite expensive here in Turkey are, uh, for example, cars, motorbikes, food, um, especially food that comes from other countries. If you want to buy, for example, food that comes from another country, uh, like Lay's or like Nespresso, uh, Pringles. Pringles is about 11 liras, which is like crazy expensive. So yeah, if you live here in Turkey and you get paid in liras, um, it's not always like that easy and a lot of families are struggling. So if you want to move to Turkey and you get paid in Turkish liras, uh, be aware of that it's quite expensive if you get paid in dollars or euros um, then you can live here like a king <laughs> and a lot of people who are retired are living here especially in the Mugla area Marmaris, Fethiye, Bodrum their life here is really comfortable because like I said they get paid in like pounds euros dollars so yes if you are a tourist it's really cheap here if you live here in Turkey it's not that cheap so that's the first thing that I want to mention. The next thing is also a little bit about this area. So a lot of people who live in Marmaris or this area, they all work in tourism, which means they work like crazy for six months. Um, most people work every day without like a day off. But that also means that a lot of people depend on tourism. So if there are no tourists, um, they also don't get any money. Last year and this year especially, it was really hard. A lot of people don't even have jobs here right now. Um, also the wildfires didn't really help um, because a lot of people are scared maybe to come. And also about the whole pandemic, obviously people are not coming. Um, so that's also something that people don't really think about. Like for example, if you work in a hotel, restaurant, in like little shops, um, it can be quite hard because the money you get in the summer you have to survive all winter with that money as well There are jobs obviously also in the winter, but a lot less So be aware of that if you work in tourism or if you want to move here and you want to work in tourism Then usually in the summer you work like crazy and in the winter you are free So yeah, that's the second thing the next thing that I didn't really know before moving to Turkey is that there are quite a lot of earthquakes here. So like I said, I moved here five and a half years ago and in that five and a half years, I felt a lot of earthquakes and two quite big ones, which are really scary. And I'm from the Netherlands and in the Netherlands, we don't have any problems with earthquakes or whatsoever. So it was really scary, the first earthquake I felt. And thank goodness um, everything was okay. But that's something that I didn't know about. Um, that there are quite a lot of like earthquakes and wildfires, especially this year. But thank God here in Marmaris, they're all under control right now. But yeah, we had a heat wave and that didn't really help with it. So yeah, just be aware if you come to Turkey that there can be some earthquakes once in a while. And the last thing that I want to mention is, um, yeah, there are a lot of sweet Turkish people out there. Like, I mean, so many sweet people. But unfortunately in the touristic areas, 
some people they can take advantage of you so if you go to a shop and you don't see any prices then be aware that they can ask you a lot more when i went into different shops or even only bazaar uh, the big, big marketplace and i asked how much it was they asked a lot more than if my husband was with me um so yeah that's something that you should be careful about that you go to places where you can see the actual price of the product i understand you know that some people are quite struggling especially the last two years here because it's been so quiet but i think it's not really fair to ask more money because you look different um like i said i'm living in turkey my husband is working here in Turkey and he gets paid in Liras. Also, I talked in Turkish to the people, like I asked in Turkish, bu ne kadar, uh, how much is this? But it doesn't really matter, they still uh, charge more. So yeah, be aware of that. And also I heard some stories from people here, Marmaris, who had a moving company, who took some things from them. So yeah, if you move to Turkey, it's really important that you know some people you can trust who are Turkish. Um, because you can get scammed and um, it's not nice I hope this video was not too negative like I said I have so many positive videos here on my channel if you like to watch them I will link some down below or some up here so you can watch them now um, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more Turk related videos beauty and all of that and uh, yeah you can also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye